Staying with the briefing at Cheongwade, the foreign ministry outlined its plans to resolve the North Korea nuclear issue peacefully and ensure the safety of Koreans living and traveling overseas. The key words are sanctions and dialogue, diplomatic engagement with Seoul's closest allies and other major powers being crucial elements. Connie Kim has the details. South Korea's foreign affairs ministry will work towards a peaceful resolution of North Korea's nuclear issues and it'll ensure safety of its people abroad. These were the two main takeaways from the ministry's briefing to President Moon as part of a series of briefings by more than 20 ministries. It garnered extra attention as it came at a time of heightened tensions on the peninsula with North Korea's long-range ballistic missile tests and the ongoing annual Seoul-Washington military drills. Our government will strengthen deterrence against North Korea to prevent another war on the Korean Peninsula while sticking to the principle of resolving Pyongyang's nuclear issue peacefully. Also a priority for the ministry was getting China and Russia to take constructive actions with their sizable influence on North Korea. Seoul will use multilateral and bilateral diplomacy opportunities in garnering support to resolve the North Korea issue, such as the foreign minister's visit to Russia and President Moon's Eastern Economic Forum early next month. While the Foreign Affairs Ministry focuses on protecting its people from nuclear threats at home, it will also be gearing efforts on protecting its citizens abroad. Customized policies will be drawn up for some 7 million Koreans living abroad with strengthened measures for Korean travelers as well as establishing a quick response system for incidents that occur overseas. The previous administration's policy objectives had focused on pressure and sanctions to put a break on North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The Moon government, however, is taking a two-track approach on Pyongyang, sanctions and dialogue. A key approach for the ministry is to make sure that this approach is effective when it comes to North Korea and in efforts from the international community. Connie Kim, Arirang News.